this is, yeah, unscripted, unedited, but I just want to get this out. I want to talk about YouTube's medical misinformation policy because I literally deleted a YouTube channel I'd had for years because I got strikes on videos I hadn't even published yet very soon after I uploaded them that didn't have strikes on the channel that I was transferring them from all based on the medical misinformation policy. The only strike I have on this channel is because of YouTube's medical misinformation policy. The medical misinformation policy at YouTube is enforced extremely strictly um, to the point that I can't even actually discuss with you what it is that was in those videos that I was talking about because then I risk this video getting me a strike and nuking my ability to upload for a week because of violating the medical misinformation policy. It really is some Nazi-esque level crap and I'm kind of tired of it. Let's just get a little, you know, clear the, clear the air on this. The truth of the matter is that YouTube is a platform. YouTube is not some kind of like buddy to you. YouTube is not your mother. YouTube is not uh, your teacher. You know, YouTube is not an authority of any sort. YouTube is a platform. Now, <clears throat> YouTube has these so-called community guidelines, but the truth is that YouTube's not a community. I make videos. You watch videos. You may make videos. But here's the thing. People watch my videos that don't agree with my politics. People watch my videos that think that I'm wrong about things. Some people watch my videos because they don't like me or don't like what I have to say. Those people disagreeing with me doesn't mean that I shouldn't be allowed to speak. Likewise, me disagreeing with them doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed to speak. The problem with YouTube's medical misinformation policy is it only allows for one official narrative, one point of view. Anything that comes close to questioning that narrative, not according to actual manual review where someone makes statements regarding medical this, that, or the other, contrary to CDC, WHO, or any other multi-letter agency administering health information. YouTube's a platform. End of story. I am not part of a community with you. You are not part of a community with me. Now, if you go to the dictionary and you look up what a community is, they have some of the broadest definitions imaginable. Technically, a community is when any number of people are together. And that's it. That's really all there is to it by the literal definitions provided by a dictionary. But when we talk about community... We're not talking about people together. We're not just generically discussing that. When I think of a community, I think out there, that you see that window? The people that live within five miles of me or whatever, that's supposedly a community. People who live in the same subdivision and who interact on a regular basis, that's a community. You know, people who are consistently communicating and their lives are intertwined. That's a community. YouTube is not a community. YouTube is a place where people get up on their soapboxes and they say things. Now they might say things with pretty graphics, but it's still just a place where people stand up on a soapbox and speak. And then other people can kind of stand around the soapbox and yell back at them, yeah, I agree, or no, you're stupid. It's more like a public square. It's not a community at all. To call these community guidelines is completely bogus. I do not have anything in common with a far leftist Antifa type. What the hell just blew up outside? <sighs> Sorry, there's noises. I don't have anything in common with them. They're freaking psycho. But you know what? They still get to say what they want to say, even though it's stupid. And I get to say what I want to say, and they can think that it's stupid too. We are at odds with each other. Our, our lives are very different. Our thoughts are very different. We might even just have this looming hatred of each other's ideologies. But the truth of the matter is, we still should be able to speak. 
the medical misinformation policy adopts whatever some dictating government class happens to say. Mostly unelected government officials tell us is the truth. It, it does not cover the actual truth. It's the truth as the government dictates. It is the most anti-free speech, anti-rational, anti-thought thing imaginable. And it's enforced by corporations that are not held to account by the Constitution of the United States of America in any way. And I am of the belief that they should be. When you have a platform, a theoretically neutral platform, that has this much sway over this many people, your rights must be curtailed. And that's what needs to happen. YouTube should not be allowed to have a medical misinformation policy. YouTube should either allow everyone to speak or no one to speak. Because if I can't do something as simple as say, well, I think that they might be lying to me, what's the point? This is not a free place to share ideas. This is not the free marketplace of ideas. This is a dictatorship of sorts masquerading as a free marketplace. They'll let Tim Pool say things but they won't let me say things, and it's exclusively because he has more subscribers and doesn't tread too far into territories they don't like. And that's all there is to it. I hate it. I hate this. I hate YouTube for doing this crap, and I wish it would all just go away. There are no communities here. There should be no community guidelines. I should be able to post whatever I want, as long as it's not outright illegal. I should be able to post whatever I want. If I want to post bomb-making recipes, I should be able to post that. If I want to post ISIS videos, you know, maybe you can put a content warning on it, but I should be able to post that. Even though it's psychotic, it's terrible, but you know what? You don't know what something bad looks like if you never see it. And in that way, they're kind of ripping us off. If we don't hear the stupid narratives... If we don't hear the information, the counter-information, for ourselves, how can we make those decisions? How can we make an educated, informed decision or opinion or whatever if we aren't able to access all points of view? If you're only allowed to access points of view that, oh, they don't go in this piece of the pie, this, this one set of views, that, you know, whatever they are, the white supremacists, you know, we got plenty of black supremacist points of view that are totally okay with YouTube, but, you know, we're not allowed to hear what the white supremacists say, too. We don't get to see a real-life example of this is what bad white supremacists look like. Well, now you've got all kinds of problems, fruit, you know, forbidden fruit syndrome. You've got, I mean, you can't, you don't know what it looks like. So when you do see it, you know, you would think that you know what it looks like. But the thing is, you can't really figure out what is actual white supremacist propaganda when everybody's screeching that, oh, that's white supremacy. So without access to said propaganda to make your own decision about it, what are you supposed to do? YouTube is not my mother. I don't need protection from YouTube. Any notion that I need protection from any big tech website, from any government, is complete bullshit. And I resent it, and I hate it, and I think you should resent it and hate it as well. You should not need protection. I'm assuming you're all adults, and that you've all lived lives, and you've formed opinions, and that you're at least resilient enough to be able to conduct your life as you see fit, and... You have the right to make mistakes. You have the right to hear the wrong thing, to come to the wrong conclusion, to have the wrong opinion. And you also have the right to take all that wrongness and stupidity, trip all over it, and figure out later, oh, God, yeah, I was dumb. Oh, God, yeah, I was wrong. I made mistakes. I learned from them. I've grown. I've gotten better. In this way, YouTube and other big tech sites with their bogus community guidelines... They prevent you from growing as a person. They prevent you from becoming resilient. You are a child to them. You are not someone that has their own autonomy. You do not have bodily autonomy, medical autonomy, intellectual autonomy, emotional autonomy, because YouTube's your nanny and tries to protect you from everything out there. And it's complete and total horse shit. I'm tired of it. End rant. Can't deal with it anymore. I have shit to do. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.